Okay, everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over why your riding lawnmower, your lawn tractor, carburetor fails. This is on Troy Belt, Snappers, John Deere's. Um, this is a really common carburetor on a lot of your riding lawnmowers. And the number one thing that happens with these is it floods. So if your carburetor is flooding, I'm going to show you a cheap, easy way to fix this. As you see, we already got the carburetor off, so once you get it off, just like this, you don't have to dismantle it pretty much at all. We're just going to take off these two Phillips. We don't even have to take off the solenoid. So, and then you're going to go to the link in the description or go to Amazon. You're going to buy this. It comes in a, a five-pack of these gaskets here. Now, if you see this big gasket, we're going to change that anyways, but this gasket don't really matter. I'm going to show you exactly what's failing in this. And show you so this comes in a five pack um, it's only like nine dollars so link in the description if you guys want to pick this up actually this is like a seven pack one two three four five six seven eight eight so here's the thing you could buy these fix one save one for later and then put the other ones on the Facebook marketplace you know four dollars a pop three dollars a pop make your profit you know people will buy these they need them now but if you can't find them go to Amazon order them and then sell the rest make a little bit of profit too so we're only going to use one right now uh, of course i'm a small engine repair man so i'm going to keep the other ones for when i need them so i'm going to show you what fails so we're going to take our phillips we're going to just take off the two float bowl little bolts one and two like i said we don't have to remove the solenoid at all so now all we got to do is pull this off. Be careful, there is a little brass piece in here. You can see it all the way down there. Sometimes that likes to fall out. Do not lose that brass piece. Now, like I said, we are going to change this. But most of the time, this is not why it failed. This is not why you're flooding out. This one right here, not why you're flooding out. It's this little gasket right here. That little gasket right there is what fails. As you see, it is shot. What happens is, is the ethanol in our gas eats these up over time. So, with these kits here, you want to make sure you order the one. Looks like this. But you also want to make sure you order the one that has this little gasket in it. If you do not have this little gasket, you're not going to fix your problem. So that gasket is what's failing. So we're going to put the gasket on. We're going to re-put back on our... Oh, make sure we put it on the right way. Yeah, but that little gasket, that's what's failing. And once you do that... Oh, see that little brass piece came out. Don't lose that little brass piece. No well, matter of fact, we could actually take this gasket out real quick and put it on over where it's going to go first. Like that. Well, that one slipped right off. This way it makes it a little easier to put back on. There we go. That gasket is on. That little brass piece is jammed up in there. So now we take our other one and we make sure we line it up. Jesus Christ, this, sometimes this thing gets confusing. Once you line it up, of course they came in the package all bent. And then you're going to put your you're just going to line it up. Sorry, had to see it. Now you want to make sure we get this gasket. Like I said, most of the time, if you're flooding, if you're here because your carburetor's flooding, 
you're fixing that little gasket so you might not even have to use this one but if you're, you bought it you might as well change it anyways but we're really just after that that little gasket that little o-ring there so once you get that all nice and lined up put back on your bowl Don't worry, when you tighten this down, it'll squeeze everything nice and flush. And that should stop your flooding issue. Now, with the rest of these gaskets, or before you even use it, you can take it and put something hard on it. Just to help straighten them out, so you don't have to do all the BS I did. But, now i got extra gaskets for future. So I'll put those in my tool bag. So anytime I'm out and about, I have them. Link in the description again down below. And if this video helped you out at all on these gaskets. Oh, and just in case, um, here's the information that came on the gaskets. It was an eight set. So if this video helped you out at all, hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button. This should work fine. But that little, this little tiny gasket is the reason you are flooding out. So the ethanol over time just destroys them. So change that. I believe even the Harbor Freight Kit has them. But for the price you pay for the Harbor Freight Kit, you get those and you could sell them again. So there will be links on our videos over here on the other side. If you guys want to watch something else, a little subscribe button up here. So I appreciate you guys and thank you so much. Have a good day.